first video in a little while, but um, I've had a busy few months, so it's been harder to get around to recording things. I've been making stuff, but I haven't been um, as proactive as I should have been with filming and uploading. I do actually have some videos recorded, but um, never got around to editing them. But um, Valentine's orders, almost all of them have been sent out now. I'm building up stocks. I've got um, more mugs and then some more ready to bisque. And then they'll all be turned pink. And I do a, I don't think I've got an example, but the blue, the white and blue version of it as well, a few of them. And um, some variations on the speckled, drippy slippy mugs I've got down there. Um, and they're all going to be in a limited edition shop update in a week's time. Um, and tomorrow I'm reopening my normal shop, which in the whole time I have been um, making pottery has never been closed. And then for those of you who've kind of been following along for the last few months, will know that um, I had an issue with my light clay that ended up meaning that I just switched away from it entirely um, and because of having so many pieces fail in that clay I had to close the shop and that was probably three months ago. I opened it briefly in the meantime so people could order stuff for a few weeks but um, that was only in the dark clay because I hadn't resolved the light clay problem at that point and um, then closed it again. So I don't know if closing the shop is going to be a regular thing going forwards if I get too busy for um, the amount of work I can produce. I've got to have some way of limiting how many orders I accept and so that might be one way of doing it. Um, I don't know, we'll see with that. What I am making today is going to be um, a, a crock pot sourdough starter sort of thing. Basically, I'm throwing it like I would a planter, but just not putting a hole through the bottom. Because it's apparently what is wanted is. I haven't thrown with the dark clay for a month, so I've been using the light clay, and this bag has got a little bit stiffer than I would have liked. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to throw a planter shape and then it needs a loose fitting lid so there's some air exchange which makes it quite straightforward to do what I'm going to do. And then um, you want to be able to get easily to the inside. So I'm not going to throw um, a gallery or anything like that. I'm just literally slightly angled out, but um, oh, I've made a mess. There we go. But yeah, just straight walls ending in a flat top to them, and then I will put. Uh, the lip on the inside of the lid so that it fits neatly but it doesn't really seal it off. This wants to have finished dimensions of around six inches diameter at the rim and five inches tall which for ease of approximation I'm just going to throw it an inch bigger in both directions. So I'm nowhere near that. That's fine. I'm going to have to do this again. This is not as well centered as I would have liked. I'm using a kilo and a half of clay here because I want the finished capacity to be about a litre and a half. And I 
generally work on the principle of same weight in clay as I want it to hold in millilitres and that seems to hold true pretty much across the board. I'd err on the side of a little bit more clay for smaller things and you can get away with less clay for bigger things. But generally speaking that's quite a good approximation. So currently at six and three quarters and well I'd lose a bit at the end of the ruler, but about five and a half, say. So probably don't need to go that much wider, although the preference is for width over height. Because you want to get inside to scoop stuff out. So too narrow an opening would not be ideal. So what I will do, in fact, I think what I'll do, so I'll call that acceptable. Trim off the excess at the base, and then I'll take the wall out slightly while I smooth it with the wood. Yeah, so depending on when I upload this video, the standard shop will reopen with pretty much all the standard pieces um, tomorrow as I speak, which will be Sunday the 31st of January. Um, and technically I have said that it will be, I think, 7pm, but unlike with the limited edition updates, that doesn't actually matter. If there are loads of orders, I might close it after a week or so, but yeah, that first hour is not going to be so essential. The limited edition update with the pink mugs and things will be a week after, exactly a week after. So same time on Sunday, Sunday the 7th. Uh, and that time is more important because I know there's a few people who missed the announcements for um, spot on seven. So the width is going to be good, the height is going to be about right, and I'd say that's going to hold about the right amount too. So happy with that. But yeah. So the might the pink mugs might sell out quite quickly. If you wanted to get one of them and missed the pre-order, then sign up to my mailing list and I'll send out an email when the shop goes live. Or if you're on Instagram, I'll do a thing in the stories and you can turn that on to notify you on your phone. Um, Either way is fine, or just yeah, remember the time. Right, so, not done. Then what I want to do is use my laser guide, just the um, vertical axis for this. Got a whole video about them if you have not seen anything on them yet. And then what I'll do is I will set it to just hitting the outside of the wall here so you can see that is marking the, the outer width that I want the lid to be. Uh, what I will do is, this has had light clay on it most recently so 
particularly want to contaminate them. This is the better way around to do it. A little bit of light clay on dark clay tends to be less obvious than the other way around, but um, neither is great. And what I'm going to do with the lid is I'm throwing it upside down essentially, so the, the back side will be the top and that means that I have quite, I get a flat top because see, it's pressed against the back and it makes this part quite easy. So throw it like you would a plate um, and I found plates are one of the most tricky things when you're a beginner but get your clay nice and centered and then brace against something so you can see my arms on the edge of the wheel and locked in with my other arm and then I'm using my whole body to move it. Um, if you can keep in control of the clay they're quite straightforward. If you start to get, if you start off centre or let it knock you off centre it's very hard to get it back again. I don't think I used enough clay for that because I've got the size that I want at about the thickness I want. I haven't really left enough. I can pull up a slight. I just bring out a small amount of clay. I only need to create a very small wall on the inside. It needs to have something to stop it from just sliding off. So what I'm doing is moving a little bit of the inner clay out. So I now have a, a bulge there. So I can make sure I've got enough on the outside. And then the wall thickness is about a centimetre. So what I want to do is bring that clay out to form a little step. So now and it can't go anywhere. Yeah, I might throw, or I've still got the laser set up, I might throw another one of those. That was 400 grams. I didn't want it to be a particularly heavy lid, but on the other hand, I guess it is going out to kind of becoming a seven inch plate. Um, so maybe a little bit more clay would do, but that should be okay. It's the right size. It's got It's nice and compressed because of how many passes I put over it, so it should be nice and strong and won't s crack. second one just in case. Always better to have a choice of lids but that should work perfectly. Yeah it's gonna to be too thin. Okay so do it again with more like maybe 500-550 grams. Be a nice light lid but I think that's that's not enough clay. Okay. 
All right, we'll see. Dry tomorrow. Once they're a little bit drier, I can flip them over and check. Um, and I'll do that as I trim them to make sure. Um, this one I will basically trim this side while it's on the bat and then let it dry until it pops cleanly off, um, which it helps if you've got smooth bats for. So these are Hartley and Noble ones and they're it's quite fine wood anyway and then when they're new and they're not scuffed at all you get pretty much perfect surface. Um, the Russian doll bats are even better for that, but uh, they only go up to I think that's 150 mil, which wouldn't quite have been enough for that. Anyway, we'll see what we get with that. Um, I'll probably do a follow-up video of trimming and glazing or something, but if I don't, I'll aim to edit this today so that when I post it, everything I've said timing-wise is correct. If not, I'll post it tomorrow. But um, yeah, so Sunday the 31st, Sunday the 7th.